Hey guys, today we're going to be making something disappear. Hope you enjoy the video. Right, so now that we're inside the software, you can see that I actually just dropped the object that we're going to be making disappear. Now, when doing this process, make sure to keep your hand very still. But now we're just going to cut out the part where I actually drop it so people don't notice that I dropped it. Hopefully they don't notice. Now the reason we add like the effects, the stock footage, is to cover up the fact that it's just a simple cutaway. So the effects I'm going to be using are all from productiongrade.com, which is probably the best place to get free high quality stock footage. So the first effect we're going to be using is Nova Burst, I think it's called, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a cool looking shockwave, and we're going to be using this to cover up the fact that the Rubik's Cube actually just cuts away. We're going to be adding a glow effect, just to make it look a little more realistic. And also, we're going to set that glow effect to add, just as an alternative for setting the actual layer to add, because if you set the layer to add, it looks a little too transparent on this effect. So it's looking pretty good. And you should probably just play around with the effect until you get what it looks realistic for, because every effect is different and every scene needs a different, you know, treatment. So just keep playing around with it until you find something that looks good to you. I think this is looking pretty good, so... Um, yeah, so it's time to add in our next effect. So the next effect we're going to be using is called Magic Hit 1, I believe. And it's pretty cool looking effect. I like how it you know, goes all misty instead of like say, um, staying solid. Now you might not even have to add to effects, but I find it useful to do that just so we can, you know, fill in the space. Also, it would make this tutorial really short if we just used one effect. And anyway, anyway, the next built-in effect to the software is going to be heat distortion. We're using this because, well, some sort of blast would usually mess up the lens or whatever. I'm not sure, I'm just using it because it's been used in films. I, I don't know if any of that junk is real. Anyway, um, so we're going to be making a mask around the heat distortion effect. And the reason we're doing this is so we can enable path for the mask and have it expand so it looks like some sort of cool blast of heat distortion. We're going to have this happen pretty quickly because a slow heat distortion blast might not look the most realistic. So I'm going to stick with my gut, my gut's feelings. The, the thing my... Do whatever you feel like. Maybe you should mess around with the feather effect to... The feather isn't an effect, it's just there. Maybe you should mess around with the feather just to make it look not so sharp. And I think that makes it look a lot better. It makes it look more believable to me. I don't know about you guys. I'm not very good at judging my own effects. So just cut this down as necessary. Play it through, look at it, change it, touch it. I don't know what you want to do with it. But it is now there unless you delete it. But don't delete it, because I think it's going to look pretty good if you just bear with me for the rest of the tutorial. Duplicate the footage layer you're currently on, like the original footage layer, and put it below your grade layer. Set that to add or screen to make it look, you know, bright. And then this is going to be used to add environmental lighting, mainly just my face because I think that's the only bit that would be lit up by, you know, the thing. Okay, so now it affects the, you know, the feather of the thing. Anyway, keyframe the opacity of the mask and have it get brighter. And have the mask, um, like, have the same brightness as, you know, the thing, the effect, the, th the thing effect. I'm sorry, you guys. Anyway. <clears throat> so just do that. It won't take very long. And after that, I guess you're pretty much done. Like, you can keep doing things to it and, 
you know, it'll look pretty good, like, the more you add to it. I guess, like, the more you add to it, it depends what you're adding to it, really. But that is as far as I will go today. So, um, thanks for sticking through this very dumb-sounding, unscripted piece of garbage. And I will give you a proper outro in a second. Like, like now. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Like, asking what you want to see in the next video, or anything random, like a random question. I am okay with anything in the comment section, so feel free. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.